It's our Halloween edition of Cooking with Lynn. So let's get it going. My name is Jonathan and I'm a caregiver for my wife Lynn who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. All right, so it's, it's ho Halloween season. Season. And we're going to make some Halloween cookies Cookie. to start, to right? Start. And then we're going to make something, something really special. Really special. Later. Actually, we're going to shoot that tomorrow, and that's going to be Lynn's, um, what do you call it? Cider beef stew. That is Lynn's recipe that we has been lost for years. Is something that she had before, you know, that she had put together before her brain injury, and Justin and I always loved it, and I couldn't find it, and uh, I was missing it, and I found it not long ago. So we're gonna make that later, but first we're gonna go and make the dessert first, which is a Halloween cookie thing that we found that looks like it'd be fun, and we've already made the, the cookies. cookies. And uh, Justin actually made them. These are just uh, bought some Toll House cookie dough, and uh, we we made those. And oh, wait, you're gonna do? You're gonna, we're gonna frost. Don't. Linda anxious to get started. Now you could use your own cookie, you know, um, cookie recipe, of course. But if there's an easier way of doing it, I'm gonna take it. So we already already <laughs> baked the cookies, and we cut them in half, and so they look like this, everybody, All right? And what we're, what they're going to actually be, it looks like these. This is a, a shot of the finished version. And they're like Halloween dentures. You make them look like vampire's teeth if you want, or monsters, or whatever. And we, we just need three ingredients. It's the... Uh, cookies. The, yep, the cookies, the chocolate chip cookies. Some vanilla frosting. And some, some red... red. Food coloring, food coloring, and some mini marshmallows. Now you can use white. We had some leftover ones from when we made the ambrosia salad, so they're multicolored, which might make them a little bit more funky. So the first thing we got to do, Lynn, is we've got to put. No, we're not going to eat the cookies. We're going to put a little red food coloring, and you're going to mix that up. I did a mix. Mix it up so it's red. I need you to do that. Let's go. Mix that up. And I, and I have no idea how much to put in there. Wait a second. I'm going to put a little more. It's pink now. Now we can mix it up some more. Okay, here we go. I'll help you with this. It's getting there. You tell me when it's looking good. Lynn. It is a looking no not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You almost said it was looking good, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Cause it's gotta be red. Could you it can't be pink. Please mix it. And there's more down there. Mix it in. Do I get to try some? You are tried all of the blood. Yeah, it's got to look kind of like like gums or something like that. Could you please? Do you like Halloween, Lynn? I do. I like baking cookies. Yeah, you like eating cookies the best, yeah. I think. Don't you? Yes. Okay. All Did right. you make it red? I think it's about as red as it's going to get. So I think they'll be fine. They, the frosting is going to look like gums. So first, and Lynn, you're going to let me do the first one. Okay. I know you're anxious. We're going to put some frosting on the first one here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, we're going to put some frosting on the other side. And then you got to know how we're going to do this. we got to make put it look like... Yeah, you gotta make it look like teeth though. Okay, so we're gonna take these teeth and you gotta put them around the edge right here. No, nope. here. You can hand, why don't you hand me the bowl and I'll put 
put them in just put it right here and we're gonna put these colored teeth around the edge nope only doing it that's the top so I need one right there oh it did yeah it did good and then we gotta take this and you press it on top so it looks like kind of like teeth you are made of one yeah so there's one and you don't need as much frosting apparently as I had done so we're gonna do more what you doing there Lenny I am gonna bring it on we're gonna frost one I'll frost Could this you peel the frost in there? yeah I get another one here and then I want you to start putting some teeth around the edge. No, you can put them right here like this. They get to stand up. Right, like that. So they got to do, the, you know, like. You're in my way. Okay. <laughs> See how they go? Right, like this? So I that's know like how teeth. They go. So that's the, these are, this is the uh, gums and the mouth. And then this is. Are, we, are you sampling? No. So then you got teeth. See the teeth? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Everybody see them? Can you see them there in the GoPro? So we got... Let's try another. And then you're going to frost one. I'm going to let you do with the whole thing. I'm going to do a couple here. Do them right around the front. Not the back, the front. It's got to be on the curved part. Okay, put them right in a, lo in a row. Put another one right there. Good. That was a good job. Right there, one right next to it. Another one right there. Oh, good. And then you take this and you put this right on top. Are we going to make another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Let's have you frost. So I'm going to flip them over. Put a little frosting right there. A little more frosting. And smooth that out. Alright, that's one side. Now we need the other side here. Come on. You're ready. You want to do the teeth on there already. And we're just going to, let's do it just a little bit. And then let's put those teeth on, right around the edge. Yeah, and another one right here. Another one over here. Okay, that can be the one that's on the farthest over. You need two more, or he's going to have gaps in his teeth. One, two. And another one over here. Let's see what this one came out well looking like. We're gonna flip it around here. It looks so good. Hmm. On CNN. We're back after that. How's that look? All right. Well, those cookies are good. Those, uh, chopper cookies or whatever we want to call them the uh, snaggle tooth halloween cookies or whatever they're a little bit sweet they're very very sweet because of the frosting and the marshmallow in addition to the chocolate chip cookies but lynn likes them anyways because she does she has quite a sweet tooth but now we're going to make lynn's cider. cider beef stew and what is it that you wanted to make sure everybody knew earlier that this isn't a recipe you made up right right it's a rest you want to make sure everybody knows came this from taste of home. came from taste of home which is a magazine that she likes and uh, she got it from that and she started making it and uh, uh, Justin and I really really liked it Lynn's not as much of a, a beef stew person she's all right with it but Justin and I love beef stew so you she used to make it for us and then after her brain injury I could not find the recipe and we missed it. 
Not long ago, a few weeks ago, I came across it. I found it. So uh, we're going to be making it for the first time after Lynn's brain injury and she's going to help make it. So the thing that she's going to help with is the preparation. Cutting up potatoes, celery, onion, and carrots, and then I'm going to uh, start making the rest of the stuff on the stove. Now it's not a crock pot recipe, it's something you cook on the stove, so it's going to take several hours to cook, right? Mm -hmm. And I got to brown the beef, you got to put it in uh, flour and uh, a little salt and pepper and brown it, and then I add the cider, the water, the oh, apple right. cider vinegar. Huh? So let's start cutting potatoes, okay? First step, and we're going to put it in the pot. So let's start cutting some potatoes so that so that we get, you know, so that you're participating and uh, in, in the recipe you found many years ago that we always loved. And you gave the, you've given this recipe to other people. I know you did. I know you gave it to uh, years ago to someone in a that uh, was owner of a farm stand that we used to buy uh, apple cider from and you told him about it and and when next time we went you you wrote down the recipe and gave it to him I remember that okay keep going we're cut. so we're dicing up this actually calls for one large potato we're going to make it two because we're increasing the uh, the original recipe right yeah. so we're gonna cut up a little bit more potato then uh, we we have to, and then we're going to. What else are we doing? What else we got to cut, cut up? up an onion. Got to cut. You want to do that one? No. You like cutting up onions, don't you? No. No. I'm gonna get this first potato done, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and you cut up the second the one. I can do the onion. All right. We're gonna have a little. We're gonna have some bread with this, right? Mm -hmm. Like some good, like some French bread or something. Got to. That's usually good, so you can dip it. I like to dip it in the in my stew. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna cut the uh, onion up because Lynn says I should do that. Right? Yeah. You like the idea of me cutting the onion? Yeah. I don't. I get cry I start crying, Lynn. You like to see me cry? No. <laughs> What do you think I do when I cut? Them? Yeah, you cry, huh? I don't know how many to cut up because it calls for like two carrots. I didn't know how many mini carrots there should be. So the thing, what's what's it makes this different? What makes this different from some other the beef cider. stew is the cider and the apple cider vinegar. It gives a little sweeter taste, and I think the cider does something with, as far as tenderizing the meat. I think. That's just my opinion. But, uh, you are right. Am I right? All right, Lynn, let's, let's cut off the ends of the celery here. You know, you put two stalks of celery. The recipe actually calls for one, but we're almost doubling this. Not quite doubling it. Uh, it calls for a pound of uh, stew beef, and we're putting in a pound and a half. So where's, where's your right hand? That's not it. Oh, it is it is your right yeah, hand? Okay, let's go. Put your right hand over here. Nope. Grip the knife. I didn't know the difference between my right and left. Lynn did. Thank God, Lynn knew. Huh. I write with my right. You do. You are right with your left. Hand. No, I write with my right. I'm a right-hander too. But how come you cut with your left? Um, I can cut with either one. I'm not too bad with my uh, left. Um, your father is a lefty, wasn't he? Yeah. He's a lefty. Okay, all right, and now at this point, I think we're going to, I'm going to go and start browning the beef and start getting that cooked because that has to, um, I, I, I sorry, brown the beef first, 
Then I add the uh, a little water. No, I add the water, um, the apple cider, the cider vinegar, some thyme, and I add that and I cook that for an hour and 45 minutes. Let that simmer. Okay. I bring it to a boil, then I let it uh, simmer for an hour and 45 minutes. Then after that, I add the vegetables and it cooks for about another hour after that. Bring it to a boil again and let it simmer for about an hour. And then it should be ready. And then we're going to bring it back right here and Lynn and I are going to try it. So the stew is done. And Lynn's going to take a test to see if it's anything like she used to make. Hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what does it taste like? Cider. Cider stew? Mm -hmm. Is it as good as what you used to make? Yeah. Let me take, take just a little bit here. I think I did it. I think I did it. It's been a long time. It's got a little bit of a tang mm -hmm. of the cider and the cider vinegar. And that's what I really like about it. Mm. It's delicious. Definitely my favorite uh, stew by far. And I also like to go to town. I definitely like the fact that it's not a crock. I, I, I like cooking in a crock pot. It's it's easy, you know. You make you put it in once and you forget about it. But having it on the stove, I can tend to it. And if it needs a little more liquid ingredients, I can do that, which I did in this case. I can do that, and it's uh, it's really good. One more bite, okay? And then we gotta do a close. We gotta put a close. Wait till you finish. And Lynn's in her Halloween getup. What do you think? Do you like it? Your little flashing jack-o'-lanterns and you it's purple everything's your favorite color right yeah you gonna wear that what for trick-or-treaters no no you know oh I think you will that'd be great they'd love to see it yeah so how about we put it close let's sit up look right at the camera and we'll see you next, next time, time on the lid on the limb line.